Why Chinese people prefer high-speed rail? In the U.S., the number of airports is 10 times that of China, while the total length of China's high-speed railways, HSR, is 100 times that of the U.S. How do these differences emerge? In China, people prefer the stable, punctual, and affordable HSR. In 2019 alone, Chinese HSR carried 2.3 billion passengers. Whereas airline passengers may experience turbulence caused by sudden changes in airflow, the HSR is stable enough to stand a coin. The stability of China's HSR carriages is the highest in the world, so much so that passengers may not even feel acceleration or deceleration of the train, since slopes of HSR lines shall not exceed 12 thousands. Compared with airplanes, the on-time rate of HSR trains is 30% higher. This is thanks to Dr. Yellow. Dr. Yellow is a yellow patrol locomotive equipped with 24 29 megapixel cameras. Every 10 days, Dr. Yellow will patrol along the rail line and send tens of thousands of photos back to the analysis center. With these photos, railway staffs can eliminate potential risks along the line and prevent failures and delays of trains. Prices of China's HSR tickets are the lowest worldwide, about $7 per 100 kilometers on average. In 2020, about 100,000 people commuted from Tianjin to Beijing by HSR every day, a journey that takes only half an hour and costs less than $10. Imagine that you live in Philadelphia and commute to New York City by plane every day. That sounds ridiculous. It is precisely because of HSR's advantages. The U.S. is already stepping up to build its own one.